Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for May, at any time in May, okay? Uh, for the rest of May or whatever. But the timing is still fluid, so really, you know, you take that into a, an account. Into account. So what do we have for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? For the very near future, what do we have for Sagittarius? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe, what do we have for Sagittarius? An invitation is coming. So you're going to be getting some sort of invitation. Three, 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 your prayers have been heard. That is mind, body, and spirit union as well. Communication. You're going to be receiving some communication from somebody. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. Interesting. Interesting. Now, a lot of people automatically think your soulmate is your sexual partner, right? A lot of people have a one-track mind that don't get it, okay? A soulmate could be your father, could be your mother, could be your sibling, could be your best friend. Uh, it's somebody that you have a strong, strong connection to that has impacted your life in a very big way. Could be a partner. Could be, could be a sexual partner, but we have many soulmates in a lifetime. I feel like you are going to be receiving an invitation from a soulmate. Okay? Um, there could also be a change in your living situation in the near future. There could be. Oh, this one just fell off the deck. I had to look and see. Angel protection. Now, a soulmate could also be somebody that has already passed away, somebody on the other side, okay? So there could be somebody on the other side uh, that is guiding you, that is protecting you, that is assisting in whatever this is, okay? Um, so yeah, you have an invitation coming. Your prayers have been heard. I do believe, I do believe, and I just got chills in both of my arms. So that tells me my answer is yes, that there is somebody on the other side that is guiding you, that is protecting you, that is, I feel like they're, they're, they're giving you this invitation, you know, somehow. They may, because this is like, threes can be like a reunion because it is a mind, body, and soul uh, union. It really is like a trinity. You know, I feel like they're bringing you together with a soulmate. And it could just be a friend. It could be somebody that's going to impact your life in a very big way. Opportunity to forgive. Well, Sagittarius. This situation brings you the opportunity to heal, grow, and release negative patterns. Hold the intention of seeing the other person's inner divine light and goodness. We will help you release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies, and lift you to a higher pl place of peace and compassion. There are angels around. Oh, there, are, there definitely is. I know that there is. There's some. There's at least one angel around you, or a spirit, or something like that, um, that is guiding you. They're guiding you to forgive and accept whatever this invitation is that you are about to receive. Okay, but it will require some sort of forgiveness, and I feel like that's and that goes over here because this card's going over there. That's in the future. Okay, you're going to be receiving an invitation from a soulmate that is going to be part of your future, but it will require you to forgive something. 
We will help you to, it says, we will help you to release unforgiving thoughts, feelings, and energies and lift you to a higher place of peace and compassion. So I do believe you are going to be going to a higher place where there is compassion and that's probably within your soul, okay? There's a healing energy around you and there's angel. There's an angel around you um, that has heard your prayers in some way, Okay. So what do we have for Sagittarius? The temple path. Now this is a path to serenity. Oh, this it reminds me of of heaven, honestly. I, I, and this goes over here. So there is definitely somebody that has passed that is guiding you down a path towards something that is very, very beautiful. Okay. It's like, it is definitely a beautiful place. I feel like there is somebody here that has crossed over. I mean, I just got to be honest with you that is guiding you down a new path and they they're they're in a really obviously they're in a very good vibration it feels like they are holding your hand and walking you down that path whatever that means to you um, this person is going to be bringing somebody into your life and giving that is going to send you this invitation. And I think it has to do with a family. It's obviously a family member. And I, and I feel like this situation has to do with your family as well, whatever talk we're talking about. The rainbow symbolizes, uh, the storm is over. Okay. The rainbow is peace and serenity and beauty and awe. Okay, it's a sense of awe. So I feel like you are going, the storm is just about over for you. Uh, you may have gone through some sort of stormy weather, obviously. You've gone through some sort of uh, disruption, probably destruction, um, difficulties but I feel like the difficulties are coming to an end because there's some sort of spiritual guidance here it's very very strong but part of this healing energy is forgiving and I know I know a lot of Sagittarius is okay forgiving is a big deal and I feel like sometimes Sagittarius's cannot forgive. They cannot forgive. And I, my grandmother was a Sagittarius. And my grandmother was a very beautiful person. She had a lot of kids. And she loved her children. And she was a great mother. And she did everything right. So, I mean, for me to, to say this, I'm not saying this just blindly. My son is a Sagittarius, okay? And Vedic, I am Sagittarius moon. From what my observation is throughout my life, being a high priestess and observing and, and asking everybody what their sign was from a very young age, I always have, I have observed that Sagittarius's do not forgive. They hold grudges. That's what I have observed. So my, what I see from this card is that you need to forgive somebody. And that's what's coming in the future. You're, but with the forgiveness brings you peace. When you forgive, you have peace. And when you forgive, that means you can't go around being angry and mean. And you forgive and you be kind and you be gentle. and you be, Even if you hate the person, you forgive and you be civil. You don't give them the cold treatment or the cold shoulder or any of that. For forgiveness comes with compassion. Anyhow, let's see what we got. What do we have for Sagittarius? What do we have for Sagittarius? Forgiveness is needed. Ah, two of Pentacles reverse and Ten of Pentacles reverse. So there's a need to reprioritize. I think this is an unstable uh, partnership. 
Okay, we have an unstable partnership, an unstable union, uh, trying to do too much, over committing yourself. This is the Ten of Pentacles reverse, it's short lived success, it's disaster, it's a huge loss, it's losing it all, it's it's living beyond means, false impressions. So and there could be a family feud here. I feel like and I do feel like we have a, this is a family situation. And, but I feel like there's a healing energy here that is going to help you to heal from a family situation. I think, I really feel like um, you have been trying to, to prove something or trying to do too much and you may have bitten off more than you can chew with that two of pentacles reversed. Perhaps you just need to let it go, it, you know. There's a lack of balance, there's a lack of flexibility, and there's an overwhelming feeling of you need to let this go. You need to let this go. So I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear it because you're, you're a fire sign. Fire signs like to fight. Okay, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm not, but I do feel like you need to let something go that is only not, it's not going to bring you success. It's only hurting you. It's hurting you to hold on to the hate and the anger and the uh, whatever it is that you're holding on to. Anyhow, um, your prayers have been heard. We have a healing energy here. They are going to be giving you, your, you have an invitation that is coming, but it will require you to let something go. And it has to do with, uh, I feel like it has to do with hate and uh, forgiveness. I'm being straight up with you. And I love Sagittarius. You guys were supposed to be last, okay? Scorpio was next because I was going down the line, but I had to do yours because I did. Anyhow, I do love Sagittarius. My son is a Sagittarius, and I love him like you would not believe. Seven of Wands, there's fight mode. Fight, 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 right? In a very tough position, defense, the need to defend yourself, feeling like you're under attack. I feel like you're in defense mode. I feel like you need to uh, let it go. There's something that you need to let go, but I feel like you are ready to pounce. You are ready to attack at any moment. I feel like this is not going to lead you towards success. It's not going to lead you towards financial stability. I feel like you are deal I think that you are involved in an unstable uh, job or an unstable home life where there's really no security there. And maybe some of you may be fighting for money because this is fighting and these are both money. You know, maybe you, maybe you need to let that go. Life is not about money. It's about love. But people don't get it. Your soulmate is not who you think it is. I feel like we have a family feud here. A family situation where there's been a lot of fighting. And you have been put in a position where you need to fight. And that's what it is. It's like you, you have been poked. And you have been prodded. And you have been... Uh, put in that position you have you have been put in that position but I feel like this is a spiritual wake-up call the 333 it really is I feel I feel like this is some sort of an awakening okay I this is a, the ascended masters assisting you as well to let something go and just turn around and walk away and I feel like you do need to walk away from this family situation and maybe that's what you're gonna be doing because I see guidance here Ten of Wands. You know the Ten of Wands reversed? You know what that means? Letting go of a burden. Letting it go. Dropping it. Just dropping it. Making a conscious change. So I do feel like you have to make a conscious change. I, and I feel like uh, that's what you're going to be doing. I do think that you are going to be letting something go that has been overwhelming to you. That has been weighing you down. You've been carrying something. You've been holding on to something that you don't need to hold on to. You don't need to carry that with you. Throw it. Get rid of it. Let it go. Just drop it. Stop carrying it on your shoulders. You have. You are capable of dropping this weight, dropping this baggage. 
It's baggage. So I feel like there's really, really, really something that you need to let go. It has to do with a family situation or a business. It could have to do with a work situation, but I feel I really feel like this has to do with family. It may have something to do with a father or a father figure, somebody that is in a position of authority. It could be dealing with an Aries. You could also be dealing with um, anybody, really. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here as well. Um, but this is a person that is in a position of authority. And I feel like you need to take that position. But and, and you have. I think that you have been taking that position of authority. But I feel like you need to make the decision that is best for everybody. You know, you may have to make a decision um, that is best for everybody involved, not just yourself. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very uh, controlling. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is very, very controlling. And I feel like this person has poked you and they have prodded you and they have made you fight. They've put you in this position to fight. Um, but I think that you need to take, you need to... Uh, take charge and do what's right for everybody involved and perhaps sometimes the winner is the one that walks away because it's the best thing for everybody involved so anyway I do believe that you are going to be making a uh, head over heart decision if you aren't if you if, if you haven't made it yet you're gonna need to make it you need to make a head over heart to decision and it may require you to uh, come down off of that uh, ledge right you may have to come down you may have to give up you may because ten of wands is giving up you may have to give up the fight give up the battle you know just 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 let it go there's something that you need to let go of and it is some sort of competition I feel like you've been competing and I don't know if it's at work or at home with family members you've been competing with somebody this competition needs to end you, de you think about that rainbow you deserve peace you deserve harmony you deserve happiness right you don't need to be in in the middle of the storm you don't need to be to be beat down you know when it, when it rains really hard when it's storming out it's cold it's wet it sometimes Sometimes the rain hurts it's just uncomfortable okay you don't need to be in that uncomfortable situation all you have to do is choose to go someplace else you have to and you and you and that's mental okay it's all mental anyhow I do feel like you have been carrying some sort of baggage or carrying some sort of burden on your back that you need to let go of I do see you making a conscious change to let something go because you're going to be guided to do to do so. You you're probably going to be receiving an invitation from somebody that I don't know if you hate this person or what. And I think that you should take it. I think that you should take the invitation because it's an invitation to heal from the whole situation that you have encountered. You may also be receiving an invitation from somebody you don't even know that has been guided you guided into your life to help you heal. I really feel like you know this person and you will be given an opportunity to forgive somebody that you have been fighting with. And this is somebody that has, um, I feel like this is somebody that has fought with you this person is very very knowledgeable they have a lot of life experience behind their back and they uh, you see them as competition this is an opportunity to forgive and be at peace with the situation so yeah you're going to be receiving an invitation from somebody that um, is a competitor of yours in some way you see this person as a competitor I feel like it's time to let your guard down. And I think what's happening and you've been doing is standing your ground. Fight, 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 fight. <sighs> Fighting is not always the answer.
Good luck.